so excited to share with you today my wardrobe tour. This is something that's been requested for a while. This is my dream wardrobe. In our old place I shared a wardrobe, so I had half a wardrobe that I shared with my husband and I didn't really like that, there wasn't a lot of space. So when we built our new place, my one big want that I wanted was a walk-in wardrobe for myself and I got the chance to go through and completely plan it out. I'm really excited to share it with you. So I have my dream handbag storage, which is beautiful, and then I have space for all of my clothes, all of my accessories, everything fits into this one room, which I'm really, really happy with. This wardrobe was put together by myself with a lot of help from very patient friends and family. I came up with the idea, I bought all the pieces, but I did not install any of this. My wonderful uncle did. I'm really grateful to him for realising my dream and helping me pull everything together. So I planned it all out myself and everything's from Ikea. <laughs> this handbag storage is something that i wanted since forever. So it's just an Ikea Pax wardrobe. It is the perfect size for the space that I've got. I also added the doors onto it, so I want to keep my bags um, outside the dust bag so that when I open the doors I can see everything, but I want the doors to keep them safe from like dust and sunlight and everything like that. So the doors are great, that means that all of my bags can be in there but they don't have to be in the dust bags. Along the other wall that I have in the wardrobe room, I've got two different wardrobes from Ikea. So these are the, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, this is the Brimness? Brims? Um, wardrobes, I've got two of them, a big one and a smaller one. I put them side by side. I haven't got the doors on this because I wanted to be able to just walk into the room and see all my clothes. I'm not as worried about the sunlight damaging the clothes because they're just clothes, they're not like leather bags. And I love being able to see everything. I like that it's got little compartments for everything. So I've got all everything hanging up. I've got some storage and boxes along the bottom and then I've got the storage in the middle for some accessories as well. And this is the finished room that I'm so excited to show off gives a lot of light and I've got some lights in the ceiling as well and then I've got this beautiful shoe rack so it's just some of my shoes and boxes as well as some of my longer necklaces on this is just a felt board that I got from Kmart and I just stuck some pins in to keep them in place it's really handy to see all the jewelry that I've got and on the other side I have some more jewellery as well, so I've got a couple of jewellery trees in there and these are just uh, Coca-Cola bottles that I've stacked some of my bracelets on. I also have for jewellery, I have one of these Kmart perforated trays which I'm using for my earrings which I really really love. That's in there next to my jeans. And then on the bottom, that is all my knits and cardigans, things that I don't want to hang up because I don't want them to stretch out. And then at the very top of here, I have all of my scarves, which I absolutely love. I wasn't sure if that was going to be an annoying way to stack them, like if I want to get one out from here, but it seems to be working well so far, so I might stick with that. On the left-hand side here, I have big heavy outerwear, denim jackets, leather jackets. I have my beautiful kimono collection. I've got quite a few there, lots of different colours. I have all of my tees. I try to sort of organise them by colour. Makes it really easy to see what I have. This is one of these adapters which makes this single rail up here into a double rail down here. And then on here I've got some of my long sleeve winter pieces as well as all of my tanks and my camis. I've got these boxes here. So this box is just singlets. I usually use these for layering. I've just rolled them up and they're in the box there. And then this box at the bottom, like really heavy duty hoodies, jumpers, all that kind of thing. Coming back along. So on this side I've got another velvet hanger. It's just got some of my McQueen scarves on it. I have some of my maxi dresses, a lot of maxi dresses, I love my maxi dresses, and then all of my maxi skirts up here, and then these are all my other dresses that aren't maxi length, so it's a mix of like wrap dresses for work, and then cute little swing dresses or shift dresses for when I'm not at work. Some of my blouses for work, so I've got long sleeve and short sleeve in here, and I keep these next to my pencil skirts and these, I only have two A-line skirts, these for work as well, as well as my blazers. And down here we have, right at the back, some long sleeve tops that I use for layering, a jewellery box of special pieces, 
I've got my t-shirts there that I just wear around the house, all of my shorts, and then that's all my undies and stuff in there. Oh, and um, in this box down here, I've got my summer hat on top of it, and inside it's my pyjamas. So happy with how this looks, it looks really good. I've got a mirror here that I can just slide out, and then this is the handbag storage. As I said before, big thank you to my family, including my uncle who put everything together. My poor mum who came to Ikea, we picked up all of the pieces from my wardrobe and then I realised that I've got the wrong size and then we had to go put all the pieces from the wardrobe back and then pick everything up again with the right size. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed checking out my wardrobe room. If you did like this tour, I'd love for you to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you very much to those of you who do that and thank you for watching.